This is Larry Huppen. I'm the medical director at ProLab and in this video we're going to look at the specialty orthoses on our prescription form. So let's look through both through all of these here. The first one is the Cobra which is a type of dress orthotic. Here's the Cobra device. You can see that it is uh, left full thickness on the medial axis, cut away on the lateral side. Uh, it has a Spenco type or nylene cover to the toes. Uh, what I like about this device in particular is its ability to fit in both flats and heels because we have cut away the lateral aspect over in this section at the heel it flexes in this region and so it will flex to adapt to different heel. This is in particular I think the best orthosis to use for anybody who's going to be using a device in a heel greater than one inch. Now we go back to the next device. This is the Featherweight. Let's take a look at that. The Featherweight is this device right here. It is a thin polypropylene shell with an EVA fill under the arch all the way back to the heel. Uh, it has a top cover. and uh, This is a nice device that is a little softer than your average functional orthosis. Uh, a lot of people will use it for older patients where they want something a little bit more forgiving. Uh, the upside it is, is softer and more forgiving. The downside is that this uh, the EVA can wear out over time uh, and will probably not last quite as long as a full polypropylene. Now you can actually get this EVA as either a medium density, which is fairly soft, or a firm density, which is actually very firm and would last a very long time. Truth of the matter is that if you're going to use a firm density, you might as well just use a, a thicker polypropylene. It will have the same amount of, of rigidity to it. The next device is the graphite dress and the graphite channel. These are actually the same orthosis uh, except in size. So this is the graphite materials, an exceptionally thin material, great for dress flats for women, uh, dress shoes for men, sometimes used in soccer shoes. Uh, it's a nice material and it's quite easy to heat and adjust if necessary. Uh, the only difference between the graphite functional and graphite dress is the size. The graphite dress is a narrow device. Uh, narrow meaning that it is uh, it's more nor narrow from the medial aspect and has a more shallow heel cup than does the uh, the graphite functional which has a standard heel cup and a standard width. Now on either of these you can actually override the defaults by going down here. So if you've checked off graphite functional but you would like it wide you can go, to, go down to the width section here. If you check off wide that will override the default standard that that device comes with. The next device we have here is the whole thotic. This is a polypropylene device, has a standard width, a standard cast fill, a shallow heel cup, and it's called a hole thotic because we actually grind a hole in the heel. One nice thing about polypropylene is you can grind right through and it does not weaken the overall material. This allows it to sit very low in the shoe. Much like the graphite orthosis, it is a great device for flats uh, for both men and women. It's not a particularly good device for heels because this is ground flat on the bottom. It, it tends to rock if you get it more than in more than a half of an inch of a heel. Uh, so really this is for, for dress flats. I also tend to use it a lot for soccer shoes and any shoe where I really want the, the heel to sit very low down in the shoe. Our next device is the Plastizote Functional. This is actually a really nice device for runners, a very, very lightweight yet supportive device. This is a firm black Plastizote with a cushion top cover. And this firm Plastizote it actually holds up very well. It won't last as long as a polypropylene device, but it will last a couple years usually. But a lot of runners like it because not only does it give great support, it's extremely lightweight. Next we have the Pro Aerobic. This is one of uh, our more popular devices. This has a polypropylene shell, cushion top cover, a bottom cover, an EVA fill, and an EVA rear foot post. So this is really a, um, 
uh, a, a very elegant device, uh, very finished. Uh, it it uh, holds up well, provides both cushioning and support. I, I think the only downside of this device, it's it, because it's very finished, has a top cover. It's more difficult to adjust later. If, for example, you wanted to add a metatarsal pad or make other movements on top of the orthosis, but it it, it is a very uh, a, a very um, it, it's a very good device for athletic activities where you need both support and cushioning. Uh, finally, we have a UCBL orthosis. This is a, a standard UCBL with a very deep, about 30 millimeter heel cup, both lateral flange and medial flange, and a rear foot post. Uh, the only difference between this and a traditional UCBL is this is a balanced cast, meaning the forefoot is balanced to the rear foot, which actually should provide uh, even better support than a standard UCBL. Uh, now, again, if you were to choose any of these devices you can actually go on to our website and you can click on the R custom RX chart and on this chart you can see what each of these custom specialty orthoses is is made of the type of shell the depth the width the cast fill the type of arch fill, the rear foot post, top cover, and any other additions. And so you can see exactly what goes into each of these devices. And then if you want, you can override those defaults down in part B of the form. So for example, if you wanted to change the top cover from an EVA that might be its default to a nylene, uh, which is a Spenco-like material, you could just do that down here. So that's the specialty orthoses on our form. I'd advise also uh, looking at the other videos on, on the overview of the form and the other sections.